Extreme weather events caused by climate change are on the rise. When we're not prepared for these events, the consequences are more serious. Failures occur across interconnected infrastructure networks, meaning power cuts, loss of communication services, and running water. This can severely impact people's everyday lives. And this is only going to become more of a problem in the future as these events become more common and more extreme. Ensuring that infrastructure is resilient to these events is critical. The climate change resilience of infrastructure networks is a challenge that is not yet well understood and is one we need to address urgently. Asset owners really need to know who are they dependent on. It's really crucial both for the integrity of the assets but also for the service you provide your customers. For example, a range of infrastructure providers. If one of them is affected, let's say, by flooding, and that maybe affects an electricity substation, and then that problem cascades to perhaps the water company that's using that electricity to run its plant and, and pump water, or perhaps the uh, communications infrastructure that needs that electricity to run the communications network. Understanding these risks in advance and how we can mitigate them is key. Credo is really useful for Anglian Water to increase our understanding of infrastructure, interdependencies and the future climatic impacts on our infrastructure. If you think about the, what's at the core of Credo and that's data. In reality it's how we are sharing and using data with BT and UK power networks and then actually integrating future climatic models and scenarios. So once you've got that data in a connected digital twin that Credo provides, it means that then we can start to visualise this data and use asset failure models to look at how assets become impacted and how quickly and over what sort of time period. This is really about planning for the future. So if we can really understand how our infrastructure is going to be impacted in 10, 20, 30 years time, that means that the investments that we make and our partners make are in the right areas to protect our assets and ensure that we continue to provide that service to our customers. This will allow asset owners to use Credo to see the effect of extreme weather events on the combined infrastructure network. And crucially, this will inform what interventions they can make to increase the system resilience. Credo allows BT to share information with other critical national infrastructure providers in a safe and secure way. It's a distributed architecture where we retain control over our data assets, but allow us to share those data aspects which enable others to better understand dependencies between different infrastructure. Credo has been designed so that it can be extensible to other asset owners, new sectors, wider geographical regions and a range of extreme weather events. The wider benefits are actually, you know, it improves overall resilience. The more participants there are, the more holistic the solution that we, we see and a better understanding of that interaction between those wider uh, network groups, increasing the benefits from using Credo. Collaboration through connected digital twins is key to tackling climate change. Can you work with us to expand our network? To get involved, visit the digital twin hub, Credo, Taking Action page.